Hey, how's it going? Mr. Bill here. And today I'm going to show you how you can move tempo changes uh, or tempo change information from one session to another session in Ableton. Uh, and I'll tell you sort of some of the reasons you might want to do that in a bit. Um, and if you've ever wanted to do it, then I'll just I'll show you how to do it. So basically what you're going to want to do is go to your master. Um, I'm just in an empty session right now. And for the sake of uh, just teaching you this trick, I'm going to create um, some tempo changes on the master. So if we just you know, move this around, so here we have a bunch of tempo changes. Uh, let's just go really crazy. Hypothetically, let's say that's what's going on in your track and that's all the tempo changes that you have and you want to move those tempo changes from that session into a new session for any reason. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to record some silence into a um, into an audio channel, or we can use uh, just some sort of field recording and just turn it all like well any it doesn't have to be a field recording it could be any sample, um, and then just turn it all the way down so you can't hear it so you turn it down to negative in infinity, and then um, you you could also record your own silence if you don't have a sample laying around so let's just say we resample some stuff from the input here just record nothing from the master and then we end up with just a clip of silence um, for the sake of this let's use that clip of silence um, cool so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna warp this clip say yes loop it and then I'm gonna drag this loop of silence all the way out um, until the end of the tempo changes occur and then I'm gonna press Control J and um, what will happen now is we'll consolidate that long chunk of silence into just one long clip and you can see in this chunk of silence that there's like a bunch of uh, warp markers in here and every one of those warp markers has a, uh, a segment BPM so you can see down here it says seg BPM on the clip and every time we click on one of these warp markers here you can see it changes so this one is 120 BPM, this one is 120.73 BPM this one is 121.62 BPM, et cetera, et cetera. And basically all of those are correlating to what's happening here on the tempo change, um, like the, it's, what, what's correlating to the, to the master tempo changes basically. So if I, if I create like a, let's say here we are right, right here on this warp marker, it says 122.06. If I create a, a point here on the master, it says 122.52 is close enough. Um, Basically, I probably just clicked in slightly the wrong spot or something. So if we want to get this tempo change information to a new session, we can then just cut this uh, clip and then we can go new live set um, and then basically just paste this clip somewhere in the new live set and it will still retain all of that warp information. And then what we're going to do is instead of having it on slave mode, uh, let's just go to the master here and, and check out the, the master... Um, tempo changes instead of having it on slave mode uh, we'll click it so it says master mode and you can see it's imported the tempo changes correctly and then if we just uh, unwarp the clip it just makes it so it's not grayed out um, and then this clip is no longer needed so we can just delete that and now we have the tempo changes in a new session unfortunately because it does it based on those warp markers it, it kind of looks all stepped and stuff like this but it's essentially the same thing uh, so now I'm going to show you a reason why you might want to do this. Whoops. So if I go to one, what my live shows uh, stuff, basically what I did was I made um, I made a bunch of uh, sessions. Like if, if we go into Mr. Bill Live Project One, I believe what you'll see is um, this huge session that I made out of stems, and it had like a lot of tempo changes throughout it. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. So you can see here, I have this giant session with all these tempo changes in it and I need to <coughs> get all of these tempo changes into a new session. So that's kind of how I did it. Uh, you might want to do it for an, an, another reason. You might want to do it so you can just, you know, get whatever, um, so whatever tempo changes you want from one session to another. But anyway, that's the way that I did it. And hopefully this trick helped you. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, also let me know, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a good day.